20th and 19 days until the election, closing out with a fiery final debate. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton coming face to face in the grand finale with plenty of fireworks, but no handshakes. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Heather Childers. Good morning. I'm Abby Huntsman. Well, the candidates making their final closing arguments as Trump sticks to the issues and Clinton dodges some questions about her scandals. I ask a simple question. She's been doing this for 30 years. Why the hell didn't you do it over the last 15, 20 years? The one thing you have over me is experience, but it's bad experience. The problem is you talk, but you don't get anything done, Hillary. When the middle class thrives, America thrives. We are going to go where the money is. I believe if my opponent should win this race, which I truly don't think will happen, uh, we will have a Second Amendment, which will be a very, very small replica of what it is right now. Because I support the Second Amendment doesn't mean that I want people who shouldn't have guns to be able to threaten you, kill you or members of your family. You can take the baby and rip the baby out of the womb in the ninth month on the final day. And that's not acceptable. Well, that is not what happens in these cases. And using that kind of... Uh, Scare rhetoric is just terribly unfortunate. Hey. He's unfit, <laughs> and he proves it every no. time. You he are talks. the one that's unfit. John Podesta said you have terrible instincts. Bernie Sanders said you have bad judgment. I agree with both. Well, you should ask Bernie Sanders who he's supporting for president. If we could run our country the way I've run my company, we would have a country that you would be so proud of. You would even be proud of it. Nobody can believe how stupid our leadership is. 1,800 nuclear warheads, and she's playing chicken. We need everybody to help make our country what it should be. We are going to make America great again. One thing everyone here can agree on, we hope you will go vote. No surprise here. Scandal still a hot topic last night. So who did a better job staying on point? Here to debate Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall and an Arizona GOP chairman Robert Graham. Good morning to both Good of morning. you. Thanks for being here Good morning. so early with it's us. Good, to be here. Good to see you. All right, we'll yes. start with you, Robert. Obviously, um, Chris Wallace had a lot of important policy issues last night, but no surprise also a number of scandals from both sides that were hit. Who did a better job staying on point? Because that was the goal of this debate last night. Well, first off, Chris Wallace did a fantastic job. I mean, it was a good moderated um, debate. I think truly Donald Trump stayed on task. He stayed on message. He leaned into it. He was way more prepared. And it was clear to him when he, when he targeted Hillary and he pointed out the scandals, she had a very difficult time a answering it. In some cases, she actually went completely around it and never really went into the answer or def tried to defend herself. In some cases, she didn't do it at all. Leslie, I have a feeling you might have a different take from last night. I was just thinking, we're in <laughs> Vegas, and I could have gone to the tables inside and bet that he was going to say that and won right now. Uh, no, I, I was. Uh, we were watching a different debate. Look, you know, I thought that I thought that Chris Wallace was a big winner last night, and I thought his questions were very yeah. fair to both individuals. And I did think that Hillary came more prepared than in the last two debates, not only to answer a moderator's questions about scandals, uh, but also Donald Trump's questions about scandals, specifically when he kept saying about the past third. Years. One thing that has always perplexed me is that Donald Trump seems to think that the Secretary of State has power uh, that they do not necessarily, and that one senator doesn't make uh, laws. They're part of a, a Congress, two houses, House and Senate, and they're one of 99 other senators mm -hmm. in that chamber. Let's take a look back at some of the hot moments from last night. The goal here is to take back Mosul, it's going to be a hard fight, and then continue to press into Syria. And this is what's caused the Great Migration, where she's taken in tens of thousands of Syrian refugees. We are going to ask the wealthy and corporations to pay their fair share. I'm cutting taxes. We're going to grow the economy. Donald thinks belittling women makes him bigger. Why don't you give back the money that you've taken from certain countries that treat certain groups of people so horribly? Robert, it did seem like in this debate they were able to go out at, at it and dig a little bit deeper into not only the scandals but the issues that the American people care about more than the other debates that we've seen. 
Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, when you look at questions that even Donald Trump was coming back about the Clinton Foundation, and he was talking about the, the different countries like Qatar and Syria, and how the, the millions they put in the Clinton Foundation, and then he pointed out very clearly the hypocrisy. Here you've got all these women's rights that Hillary says she stands for, but then she's kind of aiding and abetting, and she's accepting money from these countries that are that are more than abusing humanity. They're killing people just to, sh to say a point or to push back against women or as he said, with the gays pushing them off buildings. It's one of these things where the Clintons have been able to manage an incredible double standard in this country, and they're hardly ever held accountable. And tonight mm -hmm. he pushed into it, and he made clear that, hey, this people need to understand this double standard and really see. So there was more transparency on the foundation, but also the way she was using the State Department to manipulate the opportunities both with the Clinton Foundation right. and then her job as Secretary of State. Well, and the next big question the day after is who gets the post-debate bump? If you look at the real clear average polling as it stands now. You have Trump at 42.1 percent, Clinton 48.6 percent. Leslie, obviously Donald Trump is needing the bump today. Who's going to get it? Hillary is clearly going to get it, not only because she won the debate, uh, but there were two things that Donald Trump did very wrong. Uh, one, uh, was, you know, I, I said, I think, I, I, Mom, you'll like this. My nine-year-old son, when he loses a soccer game, walks across the field and shakes the hand of every other player because that's good sportsmanship. That's the American way. And when Donald Trump didn't answer a question, a yes or no uh, question, uh, that he would accept the outcome of this election, that really hurt him, I think, across the board and did not make him look presidential. And then his parting shot to Hillary after talking about how great and respectful and pro-women he is, I think really damaged him with women a huge segment of the voter population that he needed last night. So I think that's going to all help give Hillary Clinton the bump. All right, we're going to leave it there. We're going to see you guys shortly next hour. Yeah. Robert and Leslie, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Heather? Well, the time now is about 20 minutes until the top of the hour. And tackling terror, foreign hot spots front and center at the final debate. We need to keep our eye on ISIS. She gave us ISIS as sure as you are sitting there. She's going to get rid of nobody. Act the Syrians and so who has